I mean, that used to be inside of Pamela Anderson. Boom! Hey everybody, and welcome to the second channel. Today's topic, food trends. In the age of social media, there are a lot of food trends out there, and it's hard to keep up. Good thing I'm here to help you. My producers have procured a list of trendy food videos. I'm gonna go through each link and watch the video. Let's go for it. Video number one, raindrop cake, Kareem versus cooking number seven. No, I have no idea what a raindrop cake is. So, um, let me look this up. This. Uh, I mean, come, when you have two of them side by side, like, what am I supposed to see? Do you guys not see what I'm seeing right now? So what kind of cakes do I know? Chocolate, vanilla, shrimp, blood. <laughs> it starts with coughing. This must be pre-corona. Oh, 2016. Okay, she's literally gonna get a neck ache from looking up at the camera like that. So she's making a liquid. Is some kind of a jello-like liquid? Oh, that looks like a breast implant. Yeah, my ex-wife, she gets uh, alimony. She got a couple of uh, raindrop cakes implanted. I don't know how they measure it, in cups, right? Yeah, two seed cups of raindrop cake, please. Didn't even want to come out of the thing, so there's that. It's all right, we're gonna persevere and keep on going because I want to make this work. So far though, I like her attitude. She's not giving up. She should absolutely give up. She's doing a very bad job, but she's not. Someone who, in the face of all the odds, determined to go through even when it doesn't make sense and nobody really cares that much anyways. She presses on. I get the verses part now. It's fun, you're not gonna actually learn how to cook, but you can learn to see how to react positively to failure. Next video. Pio's 24K Gold Chicken Wings. BET Networks, let's check out a little Pio. Mmm. Oh, very golden. All right, BT, let me give you some food tips. So it's a four minute video. You already gave everything away. You showed how it was made and what it looks like to eat it. And like, why would we keep watching? What's up, what's up, it's your boy Bill. Do you think like his mom or dad is off camera with a bunch of cue cards and it's like, yo, yo, yo. Today. To finish, we just add a little bit of gold dust on top. So I've seen like a gold wrapper. I've never seen gold dust. That's kind of cool. I mean, it's like putting sparkles on your food or something. Pointless, but it's fun. It's gonna make your poop look nice. It looks pretty good. It's very shiny. I'm so hungry. I'm hungry. I'm, I need something, something expensive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this kid is great, but what would be even better is being there and just seeing the adults who are coaching the kid on what to say. Hey, uh, P.O., can you slap the counter 56 times? This is real gold? He's skeptical. Good, P.O. Don't trust anyone who just gives you wings that are golden. That doesn't make sense even. Instant stripper lipstick. Oh. Got it. How many of you would do that? Thousand dollars, you get a bottle of champagne, you get 50 wigs. It's a huge flex, but I don't think that's worth it. The gold that we actually get from our purveyor is basically, it's not your natural gold. That This kid is just belligerent and everybody around him is uh, acting like they're being interviewed by Larry King. Well, actually, we are purveyors of fine gold dust. So, where I poop gold? Um, hopefully not. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, he's so disappointed. He asked if he's gonna poop gold and she said hopefully not. He's like crushed. Oh, we think the same PL. Next video. Kids try Korean barbecue. Kids try Hi Ho Foods. Hi Ho Foods. No, Hi Ho Kids. Why would the comments have to be turned off? That is dark. Okay. That is a little dangerous. You don't exactly want to be eye level with the grill full of grease. They should put some glasses on this kid. Hello. Guys, just so you know, when I get sick of traveling and doing all the work that goes into this channel, I'm just gonna do whatever these people are doing. Get a bunch of child actors, get a studio with, uh, oh, oh, I'm kind of already doing that. And it's gonna be very disposable content and people are gonna watch it 9.6 million times. Tapping. That kid just popped out of the womb. The mom threw a hat on it and was like, you're gonna be an entertainment babe. Wait, how did they take the tongue out of the cow? <laughs> you're a bit too curious for your age, kid. All right, fun. This is what you'd expect. A bunch of kids ate barbecue and they acted like kids. But that's a big trend right now. Not really. Next video. Dalgona coffee at home. Frothy coffee. This video is made by Nino's Home. Dalgona coffee, it's a coffee. You make it with instant coffee and sugar and then you whip it, whip it, whip it, whip it. It, and then it gets all whipped up and you put it on some cold milk. There's no talk, just titles. This seems like a better way to do a show. I should do that. I followed Huma's recipe. It's not even your recipe? Wow, I like that there's letterboxing. It's so cinematic. What am I watching, Star Wars over here? Okay, what? I'm sorry, Japanese person. Are you wearing a papier-mâché bear head? Why are you doing that? That is kind of cute though. 
Oh, he's been whipping it. He's been whipping it and whipping it and whipping it. Then you put milk in a cup. I think we get it. We've all seen this before, right? All right, let's check out these comments down below. Because the foam is light, it will float like a dead body. The one that is darker than your future. But I thought you were making coffee. Wow, so there's a lot of um, wry, kind of dark humor. This channel is something different. For some reason, I like it. Not because of his vein, just to make it clear. What? That's a weird protest, man. Let's check out his channel. 2.9 million subscribers. Oh, these are the most Japanese foods I've ever seen. Like, look how cute these desserts are. Good, next YouTube food trend. Binging with Babish, Ube Roll from Steven Universe. Here's what's genius about Mr. Babish. So he'll find a food from a movie or a TV show that you like, uh, like a Krabby Patty from SpongeBob, and he'll be like, hey, today I'm making Krabby Patties. And it's like, whoa, that's crazy. Would you get the recipe from the writers of the show? It's like, no, no, he just makes it up. That's fucking genius. And then people watch it like he's some kind of pop culture anthropologist and 6.4 million people watch him make a food that looks similar to what we just saw in a cartoon. Is he gonna make a better looking one? But it looks like a big Swiss roll. It looks pretty good. It's a genius concept for a show. The dude actually knows how to cook. Do I know how to cook? I'm not sure the best way to do this. Is this pepper? <coughs> Next video. Toe fucking from PETA? What? It's not a parody account? Wow, from BET to PETA, we are all over the place today. People for the ethical treatment of animals, they have a food channel, which is a good idea. Hey, if you're PETA, you want people to stop eating meat? Give them some other options. The tofuckin, the vegan turducken. So we all know a turducken is a turkey, chicken, and a duck all kind of sewn into one animal. Let's take a look. Hello, the internet. Today we're going to make a vegan version of a turducken. Or as it's also known, a turducken. Oh, this lady's funny. She's jolly, merry, and she's roly-poly, like Santa. A turducken is a chicken stuffed inside a duck, stuffed inside a turkey, which is probably the grossest shit I've ever heard of. <laughs> you know who eats like that? We get some other f***ers, that's who. Oh, she talking about me? Good, they, they tried to put a little moral in this story too. They made it fun, they made an old lady swear, and she said eating chickens is like eating dogs. Okay, well, I'm gonna guess that the comments have been disabled, but let's find out. Oh, Brave, PETA, I like it. Wait, PETA posted this? I know, Catherine Briggswood, I'm also surprised. This is the best thing PETA has ever done, agree. All right, well listen, uh, if you're going to peddle your ideology, uh, you might as well do it in a fun way, huh? Okay, next video, from Tasty. Today, we're gonna watch Remake a giant 25 pound ramen bowl for a sumo wrestler. When it comes to big food, I feel more impressed by something that is hard to make big, structurally, like a burger, like a cake. But here, is it really hard to make a bowl of noodles bigger? You just literally get a bigger bowl and put more noodles into it. You're gonna try to make a hard boiled ostrich egg, which we did before, but which is actually quite hard to do because the ostrich egg shell is really thick. It's almost like a, maybe two millimeters. So you have to boil it for a long time, maybe 45 minutes, and then you have to try to crush the shell without breaking the egg. Oh, they're gonna try to soft boil it too? If they can do this, I will be legitimately impressed. This is gonna go in the water. Do you wanna give it a name? Eggy. Why would they name it? I don't know that you could do sous vide for an egg to make it soft boiled because part of a soft boiled egg is that the outside is cooked more than the inside. So if you want it all consistent, that's fine, but you need to kind of hit it with a little bit stronger heat. So the very inside is kind of cooked, but kind of goopy still, right? I think they failed. Oh! oh! Ha! You might have to sacrifice a soft boiled egg. You gave up. Oh, they are doing it again. Oh, they got it out, mostly in one piece. No, I want to see them cut the egg open. That's all I care about now. Oh. And hence. And hence. Uh, uh, look, listen, it's overdone. You see the green here? It's a little bit green around the yellow. I mean, they did their best. It's not easy. It's, uh, look, it's a bowl of noodles, but it's bigger. Mm. Next one, Rainbow Galaxy Crepe. So this is by Yummy Boy, and this channel has 1.2 million subscribers. Okay, so what we're seeing here is, um, vomit rainbow? Doesn't look that vibrant. Oh, and then Nutella, and then a banana, and then, I, well, I'm gonna assume that's salmon roe. Tuna eggs? I don't know what that is. Oh, and then M&Ms, and a drizzle. I hope it's vibrant. Huh, it looks a little muddy. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay. Um. Good. Oh, this person says, Hangu crepe, hal halaboji, hante, gyo yuk chom, bat go I don't know what that means. Uh, expecting it to be pleasantly aesthetic, but nah, I'll take the plain one. Yeah, it kind of looked poopy. I bet it tastes good, but the end result looks like colorful vomit. I like the color idea, but not the presentation, especially how she folds it. A lot of critical people here. Next video, ASMR, oh no, ASMR, ASMR honeycomb. Okay, we'll give this two seconds. Oh, this person speaks. 
Holy crap, they usually just eat. Well, I'm in Thailand and uh, I am uh, in Central. Are you chewing gum? Is there mucus in your mouth hole, lady? You've got great teeth though. Ty, don't use this as a, as a thumbnail. You always use my this face as a thumbnail. Mm. Don't. What a lot of people don't know is, yes, in fact, you can eat honeycomb, but it still has the wax there. So you can either swallow the wax and, and crap it out seven years later, or you can get it kind of into a ball and just spit it out. Either way is acceptable. Eating honey this way is, is really fun and really satisfying because all these little perfect cells, these little pods are full of honey and then they kind of just burst open into your mouth. It's like the original candy. Uh, for that, oh, here's one. Mukbang rainbow crepe cake. Oh, it's so cute. In Korean, rainbow is rainbow. Would you get crepe cake? <laughs> How is she Korean, but she still seems racist with her accent? Would you go crepe cake? <laughs> <laughs> what is this channel? I feel like I'm on acid. It's made by Dona. It's my first time to eat delicious rainbow crepe cake. Thanks for watching. Wow, that's it. That's all the information we get. I don't even think that's her real hair color. <laughs> what should I do? Call the police. <laughs> Who is this for? 26 million people watch this video. Unbelievable. What are these comments? A lot of Korean people, a lot of really pumped Korean people. Some, a Thai person maybe. Um, okay, good, next. Warning, complete 30 day colon cleanse in two hours or less. What the hell? A 30 day colon cleanse in two hours. That sounds violent. Oh, okay, I'm gonna skip that. <laughs> hey everybody, wow. We did all of that in just this short amount of time. Can you believe it? Well, it was even longer for me. You got to see the edited version. A lot of fun food trends out there and popular things on YouTube. We saw so many of them and I reacted to them. I can't think of anything to say. <laughs> the world of food is infinite, never ending, and always being innovated. What did you see today that you would maybe not mind dabbling into your mouth hole? Taking a bite up, chewing on, sucking on. Maybe not the last one. Um, Tasting? What would you like to try? Let me know in the comments down below. This technically qualifies as entertainment. Did you just waste the last 10 minutes of your life? I guess, yeah. So, make better decisions. All right, we'll see you next time. Peace. Good. I feel like I blacked out for the last hour.